Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we're going to look at the Down Home Comfort Bundle that uh, popped up in the Atom Store earlier. And it looks the biz. It looks like something I'm going to be interested in. It comes with all sorts of stuff. These uh, displays are quite nice. I like the recliners a lot. I think I can work those in. Not a big fan of the hammock. The shooting gallery is in the season pass anyway. Uh, the lamp is, is okay. The barrel is a fridge. And we have some flamingos that light up. Uh, there was a flamingo given out today actually for the Fallout First members. But I don't think those light up or have a power requirement like these ones. So anyway, I wanted to give you a rundown of how it all appears and the potential problems. First and foremost, the recliners. I love these. I absolutely love them. In their current configuration, yes, they're not really reclining. That animation, yes, there's an animation. That animation actually occurs when you, obviously enough, sit down. And it kind of reclines a little bit for you there and it makes you look pretty cocky. And I certainly think that these are a type of item that will, will fit in in certain builds, log cabins, etc. Over here is the lamp. I don't personally find this anything special. I'd imagine a lot of people will, however, especially if you're setting up camps with different types of uh, lamps in different areas and rooms or whatnot. I'm sure you'll find a use for this. Personally, I always go back to the, the nuclear lamp. Um, here's one of the weapon displays. We're going to be looking a lot at the weapon displays because there's something very wrong with them. The placement of that shovel for a start. Um, we'll come back to that. Over here, I have a, a fat man thrown on for the sake of it. It does not look great in its placement, but that's just the beginning. Things will get a whole lot worse. So stick with us as we come back to these. The hammock to the right, and we have the fridge slash barrel thing to the left i don't mind the barrel so much the hammock i thought hey maybe there'd be like an animation or something when you lie down but there's not nonetheless it does look some bit comfy i'm sure there's certain themes that people can work this in and absolutely i've got a few ideas myself so quite happy enough with that the beer barrel fridge it's a cool concept as soon as you access it the little door opens below but it's same as a regular fridge, minus 50% um, food spoilage. Outside, I've put the third display, the horseshoe one. And the reason is I could not, no matter how hard I tried, place it inside the log cabin. Actually, once I got it to place, once. And um, it, I could not place it where I wanted it. Even out here on a wall, I can't move it now. All of these displays are finicky. They're, it is so hard to get them where you want to get them but i finally got it here so we're going to put something on it so i'm going to throw the fixer on i've got to cancel these ones here apparently i've used up all the slots not sure how i've done that but the thing is here it will allow the fixer but it won't display it there seems to be some some rules on what weapons it will and will not allow it guys this you have to test this stuff. You have to. Um, so it won't take the fixer. In fact, I don't believe any of them will. There are certain things they will take. There are certain things they won't. So let's put the fixer on here. So it shows us there, but it's nowhere to be seen. So let's put something on that we can see. Let's put the, the uh, quad so that goes up. It really looks out of place. It's the wrong weapon to put there, obviously. Um, but its placement is horrible. It's all the way off to the right. It won't take the bear arm, which is a shame. I think that would look pretty cool there. Um, centered, of course. It doesn't take the Vats Unknown. It won't take a revolver. Um, what else could we put on it? Let's try... Okay, now that looks better, right? Placement-wise, much better than everything else so far, the handmade. If it didn't have that long barrel, though, then the placement would be really off. I would not be happy with the placement at all. Let's throw a shovel on here. All right, that does 
to me, that seems off to the right again. It's not where I would have expected it, but you know, that's not too bad. Uh, what else can we put here? Because this display will actually hold two weapons. So you can kind of put one on top of the other, as opposed to the other two, which just hold a single weapon. So we've put a pickaxe there, and that's not showing up. So like the fixer, it will allow the placement of a pickaxe. It's just nowhere to be seen. Let's just put the pickaxe on its own. Nope, it hasn't shown up at all. If we leave it there and we throw on the shovel. Okay, the shovel then appears in slot two. So something is using slot one, it just doesn't display at all. Very frustratingly. What else can we play with here? Just to see it. <laughs> the shovel goes really off to the right, doesn't it? When you consider the, they're trying to center the handmade here, it seems. Not doing the best job of it, though. Let's be honest. I'm, I'm just not happy with... Okay, how finicky these are to place, they're a nightmare. And then working out what it will and will not display, we shouldn't have to, that should be in the description. I've gone and I've crafted some more weapons because I was very curious what it, what it will and will not take. It will take a baseball bat, but look at the placement, that's horrible. I, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a new word today. I'm flabbergasted, guys. I'm flabbergasted as to um, as to the fact that that I need to figure this out. I mean, I've gone and I've bought the bundle. All right. If if there was restrictions on certain weapons, that should be stated clearly in the description. The fact I have to figure this out is nuts. And the placement is hard. Look at the bat here. It works back right from center. That's just horrible. Okay, it it's not taking it's not taking this at all. It's not taking the rolling pen either. The rolling pen is a terrible choice to display, let's be honest, but I, I bought these if I want to display my security bat on alongside my rolling pin, shouldn't I be able to? Or if I'm not, it doesn't it doesn't take the revolver either. If I'm not able to, if there's a restriction, oh, it did, okay, there we go. It accepted the, <laughs> the shepherd's one eventually. But the, I don't know, I, I just think if there's a restriction, the restriction should be clearly stated. I shouldn't have to pay good money to then find out Oh, that, that idea I had, like using this one with a with a bare arm. Oh, you can't do that because there's an arbitrary rule that exists somewhere that none of us are aware of that says you're not allowed to. Um, bat is off to the right there as well. So I went and I crafted some more things. So let's try an axe. I thought these might look the part here. This could potentially look the part, but it's off to the right again. What is up with the placement? Um, we have an axe here again. Again, it could, it's, it's the placement, it, it, it could, but it won't. By the way, the sickle is a no-go. <laughs> I guessed as much, but I was just curious. So it doesn't take the sickle. Let's put the axe up here. And I'm going to try the sickle on this one, which is a no-go, but it will take both axes. <laughs> it's a little better, but... It's not perfect. It's so off. What can we put here? Nope. Of course, it won't take that either. Um, let's try Mr. Handy's uh, buzzy blade thingy, Bob. Okay. Actually, you know what? That looks the part. It's still too far off to the right, I grant you. But um, it's the closest we've gotten so far, I think. What does it look like out here? Okay, it, it feels like it fits there if it was only facing down instead of up. 
So there's just some ghouls <laughs> that I have to go and kill and um, well here's this damn bug again. <laughs> oh, you want to sit through this with me? Probably not. So we're going a little bigger now. This is the last round. So the cryolator goes on. It feels like it was designed for weapons of this size, right? Maybe it could go down just a little, but placement-wise, that's not too bad. And I also have a Gauss rifle we can pop on there as well. Again, place it, it, it feels like it was built for a gun this size, which is absolutely fine. Just say that in the description. Say, you know, these are displays for, and then list the weapons that they have been optimized for. So at least we know what we're getting. Just try that over here now. Maybe we can pop them both up. All right, so okay, it's not perfect, especially the bottom one at that slant, but not bad. The, the cryolator needs to come down a bit and uh, we need to straighten out the rifle, but not too bad. I'm going to stick with my initial thought there. Okay, that, that seriously has to come down a bit. Just a little bit. But yeah, I'm, st I'm sticking with this. These were designed for guns this size. And as all, as all to make the point, again, it just needs to come down a little bit. Maybe some lighting as well, just under the shelf to kind of illuminate the weapon would also be awesome. But yeah, guns this size, it seems to work. But for the most part, not. So pushing on, this was the bonus item that came with the bundle. Um, there's a similar one to this in the season pass. Now, I, I made a point in a previous video and um, someone commented and made a great point. And that is that this is such a missed opportunity that this does not award you, say, a perception point or increased perception for 30 minutes or whatever the case may be. Like the weight bench gives you plus strength, right? It's such a wasted opportunity here. It's just an animation that repeats over and over and over. Nothing new ever happens and there's nothing to gain from it. Finally, this is the flamingos. All nice and lit up at night. Not the biggest fan of these personally. I'd probably get some use out of them come Christmas because flamingos, as we all know, are very, very integral part of Christmas. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's the bundle right there. Personally, I absolutely love the chairs. The shooting gallery, there's a different variation in the season pass anyway. But those weapon displays are such a letdown and they need to be addressed. Anyway, guys, hopefully you found the video some bit useful or informative. If you like it, please do hit the like button and like the video. I gotta go. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.